This isn't a drill, my friends. Pageant weekend is here. Let's get it. Woo! Pageant weekend, baby. All right, I'm running late. What's new? I am on my way to Madison, Wisconsin, or Middleton, Wisconsin, technically, for the National American Miss Minnesota and Wisconsin State Pageant. One of the best weekends of the year is finally here. But now, um, I am on my way to pick up the real pageant MVP. If you guys watched last year's pageant vlog, you know exactly who she is. See you at the special guest's house. <laughs> Special guest is here. Hi there, we're on our way to the pageant. Oh. She's so cute, isn't she? We're leaving, <laughs> we're leaving. 12 seconds later. <laughs> Downing my breakfast real fast. <laughs> So I kind of left you hanging because you guys already know why you clicked on this video. I didn't feel the need to include any hoopla, intro, road trip, none of that because Boring. Since last time I was by myself, I kind of needed you guys, like needed the camera for comfort because I was alone and it was kind of stressful. But like I said, I have a travel buddy this time helping me with all the driving because there's been like a lot of road work. Like a lot of road work. Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. I have hair and makeup at 3.30 and we're scheduled to get there at 3.06. We got some time and I can't get into the hotel room until four anyway. Also, let me address the elephant in the room here. I got a spray tan and I'm not wearing makeup. <laughs> That's why I look different. And I also got my hair done, so I got like four inches cut off and you know, fresh long layers. So yeah, all my prep work is done. If you wanna know more about National American Miss and the amazing pageant system that it is, watch my last video after you watch this one, of course. And yeah, see you at the hotel. Eventually. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we made it. Whew. Gotta get my stuff and go to the hair and makeup room. <laughs> we definitely cut it a little closer on time than last year. Oh, do I still have chocolate on my face? A little bit on your lip yet. <laughs> we definitely cut it a little closer than last year, but you know what? We're here. We still have 10 minutes. I just gotta find the room and then we'll be golden. <laughs> Firstly, we have our closets where I just hung up all of my wardrobe. Then here's the bathroom. There's me. Hey. Here is the room. This little sink area with coffee, a lounge, my grandma. And then a king bed with a TV. And then all the stuff that I just unloaded. Let's just say pageant girls, they come equipped. They're not necessarily the lightest of packers. <laughs> I literally am here for essentially two days. It's three days, but really just 48 hours. So it's literally two days, but you'd think I'm here for two months. Just like grandma was folding clothes last time, she hung up all the dresses in the closet. So thank you, grandma. You're welcome, dear. Our closets where I just hung up all of my wardrobe. Honestly, one of the best parts about this room is that it's on the fourth floor. I love this hotel, right? It's great for the pageant, but the elevators, guys, they're pretty booty cheeks. Um, they're just like really slow and really small, and there's only two of them. Everyone has luggage, everyone has poofy dresses, and it's like barely any people can fit. You get what I mean? So now that we're on the fourth floor, absolute worst case scenario, elevators are full, we can just Take the stairs. Grandma definitely remembers one of my first years in pageants. We were in a hotel and we were on the 16th floor and one of the required competitions just got let out. So like line, like way down the hallway, like elevators were backed up and I had another competition I had to be at. And we're like, we gotta take the stairs. Literally the three of us booked it up. 16 flights of stairs. So today there's not any actual competition. It's just like the kickoff and the intro stuff. Check-in, pageant kickoff, and the pajama party, which is always fun. But then there are two optional competitions going on today. So I can watch all my friends and I'm super excited. I gotta get busy and get ready and eat. So <laughs> see you guys later. A grandma's work is never done. <laughs> She literally hung it up in the air vent. I would have never thought of that. Steaming my dress because grandma knows best, right? That kind of rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> just got my hair done. I just did down and pretty to the back. I don't know if you guys can even see. Shout out to Makeup by Mascara. Kara and her team, they're so talented. Love them so much. So now I just have to wait for my mom and then we're gonna go to check-in. Wisconsin. Hello! Pageant 
check-in, baby. A little update for you. So I got back from check-in about an hour ago at this point. Check-in went really well. I just got, you know, all the pageant weekend essentials, I guess. The final schedule, the yearbook, I have just all these papers, and my contestant number, all that fun stuff. For the kickoff, it says to just wear like outfit of choice. So I'm just keeping it simple, you know, skinny jeans, black top, whatever, nice and basic. I'll try to film what I can because oh, all the girls will be there and I just love meeting up with pageant friends again. It's always so fun. But yeah, all right, I am gonna head out <laughs> before I'm late again. Okay, no, I, I wasn't late to check in, let me clarify. I was just running late this morning, you know? We've arrived. Insert a Spongebob meme here for me, please. You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? I know all the Spongebob memes in the book. Puffin and Simple's promo right here. Go get these slides. Oh, Jamie! Hi. 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 I love Haley's vlogs. I watch them when I pass time, yeah. Hi! I appreciate the love and support. Like I'm gonna leave for right now. Bye! Bye. Good luck! Okay. I'm behind you, Haley. Later that same evening. Currently going back down to the main ballroom to watch Lainey compete in talent. It's so excited. And I also get to watch all the other misses do talent. Hype Woman Haley, always there to support. As always, using the stairs, folks. You got me food? Right, yeah. yeah. Chicken Alfredo. <gasps> food delivery came. Thanks, adults. Y'all. I'm thriving. This is like some of the best Alfredo I've had in a long time and I was starving. This is so good. It's literally the prettiest Ooh, sunset. Yeah, isn't it? It's literally the prettiest sunset right now. Why don't I do a close up? Full glam in three, two, one. I had them do a ponytail this morning because I compete in Fun Fitness at 9.15. Right now it's about 8.30. I thought this would be very fitting for Fun Fitness. Literally like the best, most detailed ponytail I've ever had in my life. Ugh, it looks so good. I'm obsessed with my eye makeup as well. With that said, I'm going to change my Fun Fitness outfit. It's the same green one from last year if you watched that video. I didn't even have to get up a fraction as early as the other girls, but yet I am dead. The finished fits for fun fitness. Ah! First competition of the weekend, baby. Let's get it. So I just got done with fun fitness and they took the ponytail out because you know, um, to avoid creasing and whatnot. Since my next event is not until like 2.10. I'm not gonna get styled for a couple more hours yet so that it stays. Now I have a rehearsal. I think it's production number rehearsal. Funny story guys. So if you've ever been at NAMM, you know that when you check in, you have to get your production number t-shirt. Well, we went to the boutique to pick up the shirt and the only size they had left was adult extra large. I need an adult extra small. So this is gonna be really fun and I'm about to see how this looks on me. So. <laughs> I haven't even tried it on yet because I'm kind of scared. Let's try on this production number t-shirt, shall we? I cut an apple specially for you. I come to her house pretty much every day after work just to get an apple from her fridge. Cut grandma style. Come on now, there's nothing like a 20 year old getting an apple cut for her by her grandma. 
This is what we're working with. <laughs> it's giving oversized elementary school painting shirt. Size issues aside, the design is actually really cute and being too small would be a lot worse. So I'm gonna tie it up because it actually doesn't look too bad. I have a little bit of time. <laughs> The no-show socks too. This is just a really cute look. The no-show socks, the jeans that the shirt covers because it's so long and the oversized shirt, the hair not styled. I, I, I look great right now. By the way, I like literally hate no-show socks. Literally guys, like my feet sweat so much. It's bad. And the no-show socks just don't cut it for soaking up the sweat. That was totally TMI, but I don't even care. And this is the required attire for um, personal introduction rehearsal, which is what I'll be heading to at 12.15. And then after that, I'll actually be going straight to hair and makeup to <coughs> style this hair. And then I have my amazing purple dress to put on that I'm wearing for top model, which is literally my favorite optional competition of all time. I ate my apple from grandma, so that's great. Vitamin C up, that's pretty much all. My mom is actually like here and like watching me and supporting. I haven't really had her in the vlog because me and grandma are sharing a hotel room and she has a separate one and it's on a different floor. That's kind of why you only see my grandma. <laughs> Not that you're a problem, but. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta put this away now. We are at rehearsal right now. I'm with some of my fellow Miss Girlies. Yanetti. Hi, I'm Sarah. You can follow me on my Instagram, Yanetti like LA, and then my Snapchat, Yanetti like LA. Ugh. <sighs> Imagine I just dropped my camera on my face. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. Laying <laughs> 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 uh, in bed has never felt so good. <laughs> I'm like debating if I'm gonna need a shower tonight. Last night. I don't even know what the point of telling you this story was. <laughs> I had a point, I can't remember. I literally can't remember. Why was I telling you that story? I gotta get up. Who's that? Let's find out together. Hello. Hi. You look so pretty. Thank you. Uh-huh. I'm filming for my viewers. Hi. Catch up with you guys later. A few moments later. All right, friends, I got my hair styled for top model. The ultimate poof going on. The pageant hair. Easily my favorite outfit of the weekend. I'm ready for top model. I got this purple dress that I actually took my birthday pictures in. See you in a few. So I finished top model. I honestly, I think I feel good about it. Green test is in not too long and then we have the real deal. The two required, three required competitions all tonight. Usually they're spread out over a couple days, but no. This year they are all literally in one night. Formal wear, personal introduction, and then interview right after. So, it's about to get wild, my friends. The real deal is here. I'm dressed for formal wear. Same outfit as last year, because I'm literally in love with this dress. Blue dress with the cape, silver rhinestone shoes. Thanks, Mom, for You're being welcome. the camera. <laughs> all right, so lineup is at five, but you know, Nam time. All you Nam girls know you have to be there like 15 minutes early and whatnot. So we are going to go down there at 4:45, which is literally in five minutes. Yes. So we got to move. Let's go. <laughs> I'm tired. Formal wear is done, and I still have three more competitions to go. So I can't believe I'm saying this, guys. I literally got a coffee. What? From the convenience store, because Starbucks was closed. I always get like non-coffee drinks from Starbucks, but like this was my only option in the convenience store. And I was gonna get soda, but the thing is, I'm on a three and a half year streak being soda free, and I wasn't about to break it. I hate coffee, but I need caffeine, <laughs> like really bad. I'm a little nervous about this one because let's just say, hmm, your girl didn't do all the prep work she should have done, and like the script's not super memorized, but I'm doing it, so, come on. I was so out of it earlier that that coffee actually tasted good. Now that I've had a light snack and the caffeine and sugar has kicked in a little bit, I taste that again and I'm like, ugh. Disgusting! I've had such a busy day, holy crap. And literally I still have two more compositions to go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
despite the drawbacks, despite the sometimes stressful moments, pageants are so much fun and I'd literally never trade it for anything because I just like love being here. Pageants are just so great, man. Pageant weekend is just such a fun time. I have personal introduction and interview next. Hope it all goes well. I believe in myself. I can do it. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm prepared. I got this. Day three. It probably looks really dark, but it's literally seven. It's not that early compared to other pageant mornings. It's finals day. It's crazy. I have my makeup done for the final show. My hair halfway done. It still needs to be styled. I'm getting stuff around for finals. It's really setting in. Like, this is it. Yeah, competition is done. Whatever happens happens there's nothing i can do or change now and i'm just gonna be excited and have fun we'll find out the results of everything i've done this weekend in three hours <sighs> it's just so crazy that like everything went so fast i'm going into the final show feeling super grateful and blessed and happy that i even got to be here and also that i got to reunite with so many amazing young women Pageants just feel so fulfilling. I always have this feeling that I grew so much as a person after pageant weekend and I feel that. I gave them everything I had and now we're here. I gotta go. See you later after the final show. Uh. So, I didn't think the next time I'd see you guys I'd have a crown on my head, but here we are. I just won. I, I, I literally, it hasn't sunk in. I actually just won. I am your new National American Miss Minnesota 2023. I can't believe I just said that. I don't even know what to say. This moment is definitely deserving of a nice long reflection. So once the night settles down, I'm gonna hop back on here and talk to you guys all about it. But guys, I did it! When I went up to Jamie, when my name was called, literally the first words I said were, this is mine! I couldn't believe it. I was shaking at the knees and ankles quite a bit. I was like, what is going on right now? I had my first appearance to go to the teen final show, which is the division one younger than me. I get to meet one of my new sisters and I get to walk for the first time on stage as the new Miss Minnesota. Crazy times. Wow. Hi everybody, I'm Michaela. I was here before, but we're sister queens now. <laughs> Literally, Miss Minnesota and Miss Wisconsin, we're sister queens. The girl that walked on the runway with a shoe on her head. with Haley before going into interview and I was like you know what whatever happens this weekend happens we're just gonna I have fun that. we're gonna make the memories because that's what this is about this is why we started competing in pageants and then I was sitting backstage and they got through first runner up with Haley and they were about to announce the queen and I'm literally sitting there like about peeing my pants just like she won she won 
there's no way. And I about blew out a vocal cord when I screamed. And then I, I got up on stage and I'm like, nice. if I, like, I want to be her sister queen so bad. Like, I stayed on stage after I was crowned for the Wisconsin top five. And after first runner up, I was like, it better be Michaela. <laughs> Come on, girl. Haley and I were talking a lot before the pageant. We really just wanted this to be like us. We, yeah. There's nobody else I would want to spend this year with. I'm so happy. So. Y'all gotta stay tuned for more. Tomorrow. First day waking up as your new National American Miss Minnesota. What a crazy day, life, weekend. I couldn't be more excited for the year ahead. Thank you so much, National American Miss, for everything you've done for me as a person and for putting on literally the best pageant. It was a weekend of a lifetime. <laughs> People are afraid of heights. Literally imagine. This is literally just like all open. This gap right here. 